You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true, but you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame, but this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that, if she is to become one of us. I'll see you below. so eager to practice. Strike! You're not in this circus. Pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! <laughs> exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Beat you to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe. Fall.
What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. Siri, cut it out. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did. Read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with the dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Draw your sword, Geralt! Striking, young lady. Stop showing off, Carol. Tom Foolery, enough! Damn it! Stop showing off, Carol. Tom Foolery, enough! This will be quick and as painful. Stop showing off, Carol. Done. Position, Siri. Footwork. Remember. Come on! 
Stand now, live late. Repost! Strike! Counter strike! Maybe a storm's coming. <laughs> Who's next? Come on, come closer. This will be quick. Yeah. Yeah. Now, young lady, to bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witches' signs. Let's start with Quinn. Theory. Quinn is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. Ow! Siri, Quinn is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. If not for the Quen sign, I'd be a. Hard, right, Geralt. Come on. See that, Siri? Hard will knock anyone or any. Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this field. Ugh. Axie can really muddle your mind. Erdan now. Show her, Geralt. Yeah. See this, Siri? Couldn't move if I wanted to. Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Quen will dampen the blow. Enough! Continue training at will! Showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet. Siri? Sure to find every last blade for you. What that?
this angry white wolf. No! You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'd take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Rather not talk about it. Gotcha. So, time to hit the road? Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh. How about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but. Perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Of course, when armies pass, necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? 
Tamaria and Eddard are no more. Radovid's pledge to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. It's gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly. But griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it. Alive. Piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Exactly. In the forest of the mountains, sure, but here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. What? 
Take that down before there's trouble. That is your coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is! Witches. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm hmm Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Show me what you got behind the counter. Looking for a woman, raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Thanks for everything. Master Witches, would you be of a mind to kill the Griffin? Beasts are scourge on our land. Only killed livestock at first, but it's got a taste for human flesh of late. We'd have feared to set foot outdoors. If someone will pay us, won't say no. that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Here. Black One's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are they marking out them lines, eh? Passing out their patrimony. Give it to their own.
I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Just want to talk. You deaf, Stray. No one here will talk to you. If it's company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. <laughs> Show that shit eater, Micah. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. The folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the Sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Hmm. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done.
Well, it's not a game for everyone. It requires an analytical mind. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stefan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Done drinking. Fuck off! <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Wouldn't want to stay long anyway. Maybe not. And maybe you'll just stay forever. Six feet under. V-A-N, not Goidemar.
I knows what I knows. Elsa bears her rump for the blackens. Little whore. Come on now. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. Password. Don't know any. So, out for a little walk here, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we have a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick skulled quartermasters. They got a place. <laughs> uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well? 
Show me what you're peddling. So long. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give 30, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Plan to requisition something from him, too? If it is necessary, yes, of course. We are at war, in case you have not noticed. Who are you? Speak! Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards, so go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it, and then I shall see what I can do. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the vulpine woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm-hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Need more information about this griffin. Its sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Es sun diaktem. Es is it true? Muslim women
Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets, the... Red Bloom. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar ticks poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Looking for Buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago we had trouble, drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sar... something, something. Ah, good to know the Black One's looking out for our welfare. Doubt Emperor Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trails fresh. His love just left home. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Show you, sure, but uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though, so step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started. Soldier on the march. He'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts fall the packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their spines, covered in scabies. But they just won't die. 
Because they're clever. More so than foxes. And they hate them too late. Attacked another one. Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Armies encamp now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before. Well, a long time ago. Sorry. Hope you weren't close. No. Not at all. So. Can you show me where you found the Nilfgaardians? Griffin, know anything about it? Oh, not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No Griffin can hear me nor spy me. Was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to. Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. <laughs> 